Morning guys, good morning after the night before and uh, the season 2021 starts off with an away win, 3-1 uh, victory at the Amex, uh, Brighton 1, Chelsea 3 and the record books will say that you know, we've had a good successful uh, result there but I thought it was very flattering uh, to say the least, I thought Brighton were definitely the better side in the first half and the stats prove that if you actually look at the statistical analysis of the game itself they had more possession more shots on goal and we were rather fortunate at times I think but we have to put things into perspective and that side definitely isn't going to be the side that's going to play most of the season lots of players out lots of players are injured not ready and some interesting variations how Frank uh, got the team lined up so let's look at the lineup first and foremost. Uh, Kepa um, came back in goal for Willie Caballero. Rather interesting that. It's a bit of a vote of confidence because Willie, as we know, towards the end of last season, was definitely being picked ahead of uh, Kepa. Um, Rich James in for Asper Laqueta. Another interesting one, Asper Laqueta on the bench. Christian Zimmer is a centre pairing. Again, really go on the bench for that particular change. And Marcus Alonso on the left hand side. Now, Central uh, midfield, uh, Jorginho and Gale Kante, and then we had Mason Mount with Loftus Cheek chosen ahead of Ross Bartley. Uh, in fact, I'll talk about Loftus now. I thought Loftus was pretty poor. I think he had a massive opportunity uh, last night to prove himself. And I know it's the first game, and they're all a bit rusty and everything. But I thought his passing was uh, was dreadful at times, and it was one particular moment in the first half where he, he had the opportunity to play. Play Tim Averna through just a simple ball forward, and uh, he, he completely held on for it for too long. And, and the opportunity was was um, passed, and uh, you could see how frustrated uh, Verna was. Um, and I thought we looked instantly better when Ross came on and replaced him, but perhaps that had something to do with the cushion of two goals. But going around on the rest of the sides, uh, Kai Havertz. Um, I don't think you can be too critical. Of Kai Havertz, let's be honest, he's only played, what, well, trained for three days. Uh, and uh, as I say, Timmer Werner up front. In terms of the bench, as I say, Willie Caballero, Tony Williger, uh, Sage Rasper, Quetta, Ross, Barkley, Hudson Adoy, who come on late in the game, uh, and the two strikers, Olivia Giroud and Sammy Abraham. Obviously, the players that are out, um, new signings, Thiago Silva, uh, Hakim Ziyech, still feeling that little strain of the uh, the um uh, the game away at Brighton, the, uh, the friendly, uh, and of course, same with uh, Ben Chilwell, uh, Christian Pulisic, um, and uh, uh, Matteo Kovacic was uh, suspended. So I thought yesterday, I've got to be honest, uh, first half, um, Brighton were, uh, it just seemed like they, because they, the players are used to a system, they've been used to playing together, I just thought their passing was a lot crisper. Um, they were pressing us really up high uh, and they were, they were coming at us you know and they were creating chances and they were getting you know behind us and um, you know you have to say if he was a Brighton supporter or the manager of Brighton you'd be a little bit disappointed the fact that you're losing uh, half time because they were certainly the best side I don't think anyone could question that factor but we got a little chance a wayward pass and Tim Werner's pace just pulled him forward took him in the box got taken down awarded a penalty and Juninho done his little uh, thing 1-0 uh, second half I thought right well we're going to obviously change this about a bit or at least change the attitude maybe move the ball a bit quicker but it, it, the, the second half started as indeed it was like the first um, and um we we Brighton. I, I don't want to <coughs> excuse me. I don't want to be too critical of the goalkeeper because I've seen it at two angles. I've seen it, if you look at the angle from the front um, where the camera sort of when you're looking at the actual shot itself, you have to say that you have to be a little bit critical of uh, Kepa. But if you're looking from your and look at the real 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 time, i.e. the pace of the ball, it does move away. 
Pretty a dumb bet, huh? Probably. Yeah, probably. And of course, because all the doubts surrounding him, you can see how disappointed he was. Um, but they got a goal, and uh, they, were, they were thoroughly good for that 1-1. And then, uh, then when you're thinking, oh my goodness, you know, what's going to happen here? Are we actually going to lose this game? Because seriously, Brian must have fancied at that point. We just silenced them with what a wonder strike from Rich James. Absolutely beautiful. Where, let's have it right, if you try to do that 10 times, 9 out of 10 times, it would go over the bar or go wide or whatever. That particular moment, it was the sweet spot, bang, 2-1, and that was a fantastic uh, way to work. So, And then Brighton had a chance, and really did, you know, where it was a, almost a free header, and, uh, you know, that, if that had been 2-2, it would have been game on again. But we, we got ourselves a bit of luck from a corner, um, a shot coming in from Zuma, and it took a deflection, and it was that deflection that... Um, that's, uh, you know, put the ball in the back of the net, free one up. And then we then started to find a bit of composure. We were then pressing them. Our passing was better. The confidence was better. And, uh, and we were creating, you know, chances. And um, it just looked better when we had that cushion. And uh, you can't be, as I say, too critical. There's a lot of uh, players there that, you know, sort of weren't, weren't available uh, last night. And the bottom line, is we didn't play particularly well but we got a victory three points and that's all you can say uh, let me know what you think guys uh, we're certainly going to have to play a lot lot better than that against the reigning champions Liverpool for sure um, and let's hope that some of these players uh, come back because that team that played last night let's be honest that's that's not going to compete on any level uh, it will certainly get us maybe top four or whatever but that side in question um, we need some of the others to come back in to make us uh, you know um, the real deal and, and how people are viewing us in terms of being competitive this season but nevertheless um we won the game and that's all that matters three points as Frank said can you evaluate it from the fact that it, would have, it was a fixture last season that we didn't get three points uh, and, and let's be honest they're not in most Brighton they do play some, some, some nice stuff uh, so um, to get three points in the first game that's all you can ask for so uh, well done Chelsea well done Frank ok guys thanks very much and I'll uh, speak to you all soon onwards and upwards up with you.